today is May 20th, so um, happy birthday to me, I guess. But as you can see, it's only 7.49 a.m., so yeah, I pretty much just woke up, and I woke up to this. Not a very nice thing to wake up to on my birthday. So this is my Salmopoyas Cambridge. It is a matured female. Now, I've had her since she was a tiny, tiny little baby sling, and she was actually one of my favorite arboreal tarantulas. She has been with me for a good four years and today I just woke up to her just dead yeah as you can see motionless and there are sorry my finger there are like ants around her abdomen over there it's not the cause of ants attacking her it's well look at this she molted sideways and I guess she just couldn't molt out and then she she died yeah <sighs> stuff like this does happen but why does it have to happen on my day and I know today is like May 20th but this video is probably going to be uploaded in I don't know August September October I'm not sure because right now at the time of this recording I have videos scheduled all the way till 5th of August yeah on the 20th of May scheduled till the 5th of August <laughs> yeah I've been working quite a bit on these videos today I'm just gonna be showing you guys something that unfortunately happened and why does it have to happen on my birthday and it has to be one of my more favorite arboreal tarantulas yeah hmm not very happy about this outcome so I've got my tongue over here I'm gonna be grabbing her out and see what's actually going on with her and why she just died like this no motion at all and yeah why does this have to happen? I mean, she's been a good girl. She has been giving us great takedowns for almost every single feeding video. That is why she is my favorite. But I mean, why do you have to mold sideways? You could have like, I don't know, but sad. Super duper sad. My friend had a matured male like last year and we tried to pair to them, but this girl just didn't want him. She didn't eat him. She just, just didn't want to mate with him, but she has been doing super well ever since. But today, it's just not the day for me. Let's peel this abdomen molt and yeah, she could have gone through a perfect molt, but she decided to do it sideways. I seriously have no idea what to say right now. I don't want this video to be too long as well. I mean, it's probably not going to be too long because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be continuing to say. Just to show you guys what happened on my birthday, pretty much. But like I said, when this video is uploaded, it's probably going to be like two or three months down the road. Wait, not two months because I've already said videos are scheduled till August and August is like three months above me. Probably several months from now. But I mean, look at her. She is maximum size. She's about a good six inches, pushing seven. I mean, if, if I stretch her back legs like this and her front legs like this, yep, she is pushing seven inches. And also, this is actually my first adult female tarantula death. I know I've had some deaths before, but mostly those are matured males because mature males really, after they mature out, all they want to do is breed as fast as they can because they don't live very long after that. So yeah, mostly mature males and slings as well because slings can just drop dead anytime just randomly. I have no idea why. Like I said, randomly. So yeah, those two are inevitable. But females, they live pretty long. Like for example, this girl over here, she could have lived an extra eight years because she's only about four years old. And these guys live about 12 years. So, eight years down the road and you gotta mold wrongly. Why? Why? Seriously. Uh, sorry this video isn't too like moving and exciting and stuff because first of all, I just woke up. I'm still like half asleep. So also excuse my voice if it's not like normal. I'm not too active right now. It's just I woke up and then I went to check on the tarantulas and this girl. Ants were all around her and yeah, it's just not what I want happening. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing now. Should I preserve her? I mean since she was my first ever female tarantula death and also one of my favorite arboreal tarantulas that I had. Usually when people ask me what arboreal tarantula should I get, I usually say Salmopoyas cambridge or the avicularia, but Salmopoyas cambridge is more of the... I don't know, they're more hardy. They're hardier than Avicularia, so I would definitely recommend these guys. Although people usually recommend the Salmopoyas Erminia, but I never really had luck with those guys. I've had like five or six slings, yeah, about six slings, I think, and all of them just 
died and it's all different points of time i kept them all differently i've kept them on damp substrate i kept them on dry substrate i've kept them on a lot of ventilation i kept them on top ventilation only i've kept them on just normal ventilation and all of them just died for some reason so i've pretty much given up on someone puts Arminias, but someone puts cambridge A's, if you are looking for a hardy arboreal tarantula i mean because avicularis are not too hardy compared to these guys i mean definitely get these someone puts cambridge A because these guys first of all they are gorgeous they have these brown legs and then this green carapace i mean they look pretty darn badass but unfortunately this one just decided to yeah i don't know what to say anymore in this video so yeah i'm probably gonna get another one in the near future but i haven't seen people selling these guys for quite some time already i guess that will be it for this video because there's nothing else for me to say i'll probably preserve her but that will be another video because right now i just want to go and have a shower and just don't have time to deal with this because i've got a lot of stuff planned out for my birthday and yeah just a quick video for today so i hope you guys enjoyed this video not too much to enjoy because i'm not enjoying it. i'm certainly not enjoying making this video but i mean i have to make it why i don't know i just felt the need to make it so yeah if you're new to this channel subscribe hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Yes, there is a cricket over there, but then the cricket died before she even died. I mean, before she even molted because I fed that cricket to her quite a while back and she was like super aggressive at the time. That is why I didn't take out that cricket. I fed her one cricket, which is like over here. Wait, let me show you. This is the previous cricket bolus. Like, look at that. Yep, she ate the cricket and then just put it like over there. As soon as I dropped that first cricket, she grabbed it. So I was quite positive because usually she eats more than one cricket. So I tossed in the other one and she just didn't grab it because the cricket like went in here and she couldn't grab it. And usually she stays over here. She doesn't go to the back into this log very much. So I guess that cricket was in here for too long and then she didn't find it. And then the cricket died because I saw that cricket dead for like two weeks already. Yes, I know I didn't take it out because I can't reach it. I, I literally, I, I can't reach the cricket and I didn't want to disturb her since she was in pre-mold because, you know, you don't want to disturb with tarantula when it's in pre-mold or when it's molting. But I mean, the cricket's already did so it's not gonna do any harm to the tarantula so yeah i just left it over there